Pakistan, a place of natural beauty, both in its geography and the strength and character of its people. In late July of 2010, Pakistan was devastated by one of the worst disasters in the country's history. One more blow to an already suffering nation. A large number of Pakistanis were already living below the poverty line. The country suffered a massive earthquake in 2005 and a military offensive against insurgents in 2009. In July 2010, monsoon rains left about one-fifth of the entire country underwater. My age is 80 years. But I have never seen so much such a in my life. 10 million people required immediate food aid, and it is estimated that the massive floodwaters directly affected 20 million people. The floods covered 50,000 kilometers, damaged over 2.2 million hectares of crops, and killed over 450,000 livestock. The death toll was estimated to be close to 2,000 people. Some of the families, they lost their agricultural land, their houses uh, in, in their shops. So they, they are uh, psychologically affected, much affected psychologically. With the generous financial support of Canadians through Canadian Food Grains Bank, projects led by Presbyterian World Service and Development have helped feed over 75,000 people working with local partners in the country. Over 1,700 metric tons of food have been distributed, including wheat flour, rice, lentils, oil, sugar, and salt. Long-term work is now underway to restore food security in the affected regions. The government is doing what it can, but it can't reach all areas. And that was one of the key aspects of, of the work of our partner and the work of CFGB, is getting to communities that other agencies were not reaching. Some time has passed since the initial crisis. The raging waters that once devoured everything in sight have now returned to their former tranquil selves. But the river paths have moved. Where homes and fields once were, there is nothing but rocks. For the people who once lived along this river, the memory of what they've lost is hard to bear. <laughs> So from here uh, to that uh, road, uh, there, were, there were village and everything was washed away, every house was washed away in the flood. If we have seen a uh, flood such like this, so we were not mad that we, have, we, are, uh, we constructed houses here, but it was safe. PWS&D and the Food Grains Bank ensure that your donations go directly to support the intended recipients. With the presence of competing forces like insurgents and separatist movements, this region can be a difficult place to work. I think despite the many challenges that our partners faced, uh, I think it's truly amazing that uh, they worked with the community to find ways to make sure that 100% of the aid got to the people that were in need. Agricultural recovery is the key here. Uh, we're working with agrarian populations uh, that live off of the land. And, and that is their that is their daily existence. The raging floodwaters may have washed away the lives they once knew, but the people of Pakistan are moving forward and rebuilding. This country and its communities face a long road ahead, but tomorrow is a new day. The affected people of Swat, they are hopeful in the future. They're strong enough to face the situation. They have there's something in their mind that good time will come. They're not losing their heart. With your help, we will continue to work together to make positive changes in the lives of our resilient brothers and sisters. The assistance that PWSD and CFGB have been able to get to people affected by this massive flood in Pakistan has been essential, essential to allow them to get through this emergency phase. But we have to keep them in our thoughts and prayers and we need to continue to support them as we help them rehabilitate and recover from this massive emergency. Come, let us go to a place that is pure. 
To learn about love and wipe away tears He'll melt swords of steel and hearts made of stone He'll set prisoners free and give strangers a home So come, come as you are Oh, come from near and far